I'm Rachel Nagel with Adventurous Heart, and this is Kibo. He's our newest addition to the family. He, uh, we got him about a month and a half ago when he was 10 weeks old, and he is born and ready to run today. Uh, so Kibo is named after Kilimanjaro, the top of Kilimanjaro. We already had Mwenzi, we already had Shira, so naturally we had to complete the three volcanic cones of Kilimanjaro, so Kibo. Enjoy the next couple clips of life with Kibo. Keep in mind when we got him at 10 weeks old, it was older than Mwenzi, and uh, let's just say he had some personality. He pulled the top of the bottle off, shook it everywhere. Uh, it's a little bit of a biter to start with, but he's gotten so much better. The coolest thing is that he makes fun noises that Mwenzi's never made. You'll hear him grunt. Uh, so he really has a good personality, and I can't wait to see him continue to grow in, into our family. Huh, Kibo? Hi, buddy. Oh boy. You're doing so good. I want you to see this, look. Yeah, I thought that might happen. I thought that might You can go out. It's okay. I got you. Touch. 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 Good. Good touch. Good sit. <laughs> That's a very nice sit. You could remember that for later. That would be awesome. <laughs> there you go. Good. <laughs> Good. Good. It only took me an hour, but finally I was able to pick Kibo up. He's not grunting, he's not biting, he's getting there little bit by little bit. Porcupines are not cool, I did not pee myself, somebody peed on me, and it's disgusting. It stinks pretty rough. bad too. Ugh, Kibo! Hey, it's only been like, what, 24 uh, hours? Yeah, but it stinks so bad. <laughs> Kibo, how are we doing otherwise? We're not too bad. We're not biting at me anymore, so that's good. We're just peeing on me now. Pancake. Kibo's so cute. He'll lay his back legs out straight behind him and then kind of scoot and pull himself along. Oh. 
Oh, so cute. Thanks for laying on me. That is so nice. That is so nice. Good. Hi. Hi. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. We don't do that. We do not do that. That was uncalled for. That was uncalled for. No bite. No bite. Yeah. Yeah. You love that spruce tree, don't you? Mm -hmm. There you go, good grooming. Did you see how he just pulled his legs over? He does that. It's so hilarious. Look at this. Pull on his legs. You sure do have a lot of personality, little dude. Evo. Hi, baby. So the hollow quill that he's shaking right there is this first warning of the fence that he's a little uncomfortable. So we'll work on making him a little more comfortable, but you can see that those are hollow ones. Sounds a little bit like a rattlesnake quill. And then the long ones are his guard hairs. That's how he feels direction. You gonna come out, Kibo? So that's how he feels direction. If something's threatening him, then he'll back into it. This is one thing you never want to see. Ah! That's why you tame them, so they're your friend, not your enemy, and it won't hurt. Hi, Kibo. Touch. There. Good boy. Go ahead. Good. Hey, Kibo. Here, Kibo. Good! That was so much better! That was so much better! Not easy. That was so... I... I... That's unacceptable. Easy. Easy now. Easy. Good. That's so much better! That is so much better! There! Little by little, Kibo. Little by little. There, that's good. That's good. Okay, I get you. I hear you. I hear you. You need another one? I love how his legs is just playing sideways. Can I pet your leg? Maybe just a little? No? Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. See you on. Look at that stretch I meant. You're just all stretched out, Kibo. You're all stretched out. 
Lap time. I got you. Good. Good. Move your belly. Move your belly. Good. That's a good belly rub. That's a good belly rub. Good. There. That's a fabulous belly rub. So it's important when they're young to just touch their feet, their ears. That way, you need to look at them as they get older. They're comfortable with being. They're comfortable with you. Look at those toes. They're so soft. Yeah. So porcupine feet, they have five toes in the back. So this is a back paw. Good. Good. So paw on the back. Good. Hey. Apparently you didn't like your paw, huh? Punk. 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 Minor flesh wound. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Good, Keith. Come on. Here, Kibo. I have a care for you. Your favorite. Oh, yeah, I found one. Come here. Here, Kibo. Good boy. There you go. Come here. There you go. So it's amazing what a week and a half of training can do. You just saw he took a carrot right out of my hands. Not happening a week and a half ago. Then he was attacking a spoon. So he's doing really good. Uh, he's eating out of my hands now. Here you go. Would you like another one? No, you don't want an apple? How about broccoli? You want broccoli? Corn? All right. He's eating out of my hands now. He's doing really good. I can lay by him. And he has the cutest thing where he lays with his legs out to the side. It's absolutely adorable. Wednesday never did that, but Kibo has his own style, his own personality, and as he continues to get tame, he's going to be a, a fun little treat, I'm sure. <laughs> the cutest thing about Kibo is he has huge eyes. Kind of look like bug eyes, but they're absolutely adorable. I'm sure as he grows into his body, he'll figure it out. He does not want you getting close to his corn. <laughs> it's okay, baby. It's okay. You can see him raising his quills. He uses his pilio erector. Uh, muscles to be able to raise and have direction of the quills. So right now he's telling you to stay back. <laughs> Don't mess with my food. Here, get this one. You ready? There you go. That was so good. That was so good. Good. Good, Kibo. Good. Kibo's getting braver. He's climbing up onto my lap to eat his food. Still pretty, pretty nervous. Sometimes he'll take, grab it, and run away. Sometimes he'll stay here. Right now he's staying here and eating his food. So step by step, little by little, we're calming him down. So all in all, Kibo's doing a lot better job. You can see he's crawling on me. He's moving around. He's not trying to bite. Uh, so he's doing a lot better job. So again, this is Kibo, I'm Rachel, and we are Adventurous Heart.